gonna be a late video. It's nighttime. Actually, it's 8.20. Um, I am doing some dishes. I gotta get some dishes done. It's a little sink full right here, not too much. I just wanna make sure I get it done, get some stuff put away, and then we can chat while I'm doing it. So, I have my gloves on because I cut my thumb, and oh boy, does that hurt. Like, it really hurts. So, I just have some things. I had a pan soaking from last night. It's actually my grill, um, my Ninja Grill. Uh, so, my Ninja Foodie Grill. I love that thing. I cook, I cook with it every single day. Today, I made Stefano some Philly cheesesteak salad because that's what he wanted. So, I made that for him. Um, you're going to see me walk back and forth because I have to get some stuff done. If I don't get it done now, I will just not get it done at all. So, this is going to take a couple of minutes to do, uh, which I don't mind. I'm just extremely, like, extremely irritated right now, actually. I made a video the other day and I cut out a lot of things because it was kind of personal stuff, like personal, um, stuff that I don't really like to talk about, but I really should talk about because like it affects me so much, you know, um, and not that, not that stuff no doesn't listen to me, but he's just so busy and he's like in his own zone a lot of times that he he doesn't hear what I'm saying. Um, sorry if it's loud, but I have to turn on the water. Um, but it, sometimes he just doesn't hear what I'm saying, you know. Like, he hears me talking, but he's not listening. There's like no listening at all. Well, anyway, I read a comment somebody that I've never seen comment before or maybe she has and I just haven't noticed but um the, I'll, I'll pin it to the top and it was like uh what a mess it was about the day my refrigerator came and she said to me why don't you take those cats to the shelter keep your dogs and keep the cats that just mean something to you because the cats are taking over they're taking over your home and it must be extraordinarily immensely expensive um well for one thing we do get a lot of stuff and we get it in bulk so i don't have to worry about it so i get a free delivery once a month for my cats however litter i actually get every every other week i have to get litter twice a month so i mean you know but if I had a baby, say Stefano and I had a whole bunch of children, which is what I originally wanted to do when I was younger, but when I met Stefano, my baby days were over. Anyway, if we had babies, we had diapers weekly, formula, which is hard to find now, food, which is getting harder to find um, at a reasonable price right now, I don't know if people would be telling me, hey, get rid of them. Get rid of your kids. They're costing too much money. You know, and I'm, I'm going to get people that say, don't compare children to animals. Yeah, I can. You know why? Because all my kids are grown. I raise my kids. My kids are all grown. And when my kids were little, we had two, maybe three cats and always a dog. My son had rabbits. My daughters had fish. Like, we always had, we had guinea pigs, hamsters, we always had stuff in the house. And, and I had kids back then, and I was a single mom, and I still managed to feed cats, dogs, kids, you know? And what does it matter to you how much it costs me and Stefano? I don't have a GoFundMe. I don't have, in fact, I am, I'm actually... YouTube said that they gave me that button, that, um, that thank you button, and I don't use it. Like, I'm entitled to it. I'm allowed to do it, which you see people putting on makeup and telling you stories about, about murders and stuff, and they have a play button, and pa they have a Patreon and everything, and they get donations, and they're just sitting there telling you their story about somebody else's story, and they get money. 
there's YouTubers here that are um, that uh, are sick, and they get no donations from their their subscribers. I just feel that it's not appropriate for me to do that. You know, if I was asking for donations and money and stuff like that, I could see somebody saying that. And then there's this. Now here in Maine, we don't have a lot of programs where I am. There's not a lot of programs because there's not a lot of funding here um, for these type of programs. There might be a farm here or there that you could take your animal to. But why would I make my animals somebody else's problem? Like, why would I do that when I'm perfectly capable of taking care of them? And if they're running around and you see them running around, that's what they do. They run around. They play. They are living a good life. So, right after the death of my dog, right, somebody leaves me a comment like that. Like, that really totally irks the crap out of me. It irks me to my core. I don't tell anybody else how to live. Don't tell me how to live. I am not sitting there saying, oh, I can't handle this. Oh, I don't know how to handle this. I don't know what I'm going to do. And for people to give me unsolicited advice on what I should be doing. That kind of sounds like somebody else I know. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm rescuing the ones that, I'm rescuing the ones that I can. Not and they get homes. A lot of them get homes. The only ones that aren't getting homes are the ones that are sick. The ones that I can take care of here at the house. You know, not have to run to the vet 24/7, but the ones I can take care of here at the house. Um, you know, I just don't understand why I would make them suffer even more by giving them to somebody that didn't want to take on that responsibility of having a sick cat. The kittens that are going with his sister, his niece, and his friend at work, they are perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with them. They are perfectly healthy. You saw her. She's sitting on my lap. I think his friend from work is getting that one because his niece wants boys. And so I have the orange boy who's perfectly healthy. And then I have another boy who is not quite healthy yet. He's not quite there. These cats are born outside. They're born with a lot of medical problems. If I take them to the SPCA, like people are, or a shelter that this girl is, is suggesting, they will be put to sleep. Do you think it's fair for them to be put to sleep because um, somebody decided to throw their, you know, their mom cat out onto the street because they didn't feel like taking care of it or getting it fixed? That's why all my cats are inside cats. And you saw the dangers that they have. I had a fox under my house going after the kittens, trying to eat the kittens. You know, that's the danger that these cats live in. Cougars, we have bobcat, we have, we have owls, we have, we have eagles here, we have hawks here. They're all dangers that these cats live with. They have to live with that. And it's all because somebody threw out the original cat, the original one that wasn't fixed. Somebody tossed it out like it was nothing. Like it was just garbage. Like, oh, I'm leaving. See ya. I don't want my cat no more. You know? Somebody made it somebody else's problem. Or, God forbid, they don't know how to eat when they're raised inside the house. They don't know how to hunt. They're not, they're not capable of that right away. It takes them a long time to learn how to hunt. So, unluckily, we have a bunch of mice because I have a bunch of neighbors that abandon their houses. So, you know, they are keeping the mice away from my house, which I have to say thank you because I would be overrun right now because the grass isn't getting cut or anything at these places. So, I am grateful that these cats are here. But, yeah, I just wanted to tell you how aggravated, especially after losing my dog that I had for 13 years, got almost 14, you know, and to read that, it was just like, 
No, it's so nonchalant. It's like, oh, they're 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 making a mess in your house. They're they're on your table. They're on this. They're on. Well, of course they are. They live here. I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, don't go on the table. I don't even eat at my own table. I don't eat there. I don't. Why would I eat dinner there? Stefano isn't here for me to eat dinner with. You know. He's not here for breakfast, he's not here for lunch, and he's not here for dinner. He's home for a whole 24 hours once a week because he's working. And let me tell you, if Stefano couldn't afford it, he would tell me, you know, that's it. No more cats. We can't take no more in. We can't feed any outside. He would be the one to tell me that. You know, I don't think somebody on the internet is the one to have to tell me that. And Stefano... It's, let me tell you something. This man, every time he sees a cat, his heart breaks when he sees a cat outside that doesn't have to live like that. He is so kind and so generous. He would be taking these cats in himself. You know, these cats, in fact, he, he says that these kittens right now that I have right now, that, um, that I, they're, they're going to get a home. You know what he feels bad about? That they're not going to have 24 hour care because they're going to be going to somebody else's house who has to work where I get, I'm privileged. I'm lucky that my husband works and he lets me stay home. Like I don't have to work it. Yeah. If I worked, we'd have extra money. Sure we would, but we'd also have extra taxes. It'd be taken out. We'd have two cars on the road with the gas prices over $5 a gallon right now. I am very lucky that I get to stay home. I'm very lucky. And so I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not lucky. But my husband, it's, it's our decision. He and I sat and we talked about it. I worked while I was up here. I've worked at different locations. You know, until the pain just got too much where I can't, you know. And we're not on any assistance. I'm not on disability. I'm not on it because he works. I wouldn't even be able to get it actually because he works. He, he has a very good job. So, but anyway, not that that's anyone's business, but, you know. I don't know. It's just, it just so aggravates me that people try to say it and then they're like, well, I'm not saying it to be mean. Well, it, it kind of is mean. <laughs> like, it's like, okay, when I first moved up here, I had, at the time, I only had, I had three cats. Three. Stefano wanted, he wanted a white cat so badly. And so there was a lady that was giving away cats for free and I was telling her, what Stefano's dream cat was and she's like you know what she goes there's like a mama cat that had babies outside and she had a white cat and that was snowflake so we went around mother's day we picked her up and we had her one time before Samson got fixed we had um he had gotten both of my Lexi who was so old and we were told she couldn't have any more puppies um, and she never went in the heat. She, she got pregnant and Delilah got pregnant at the same time. And so in my house, I had nine puppies. I had, um, at the time I had Gabriel, who was, my son gave me Gabriel, um, who he was a beautiful um, brindle, um, Pitbull, beautiful, beautiful. But Samson did not like any other dog, so it was like a turf war. So, and poor, poor uh, Gabriel got the end of it. Like, he, there was always a fight in the house, always. And Sassy being the chow and protective, they they would all fight. It was it was a terrible thing. So, anyway, poor guy, he he got to go. He got my son found him a really good home. And he had a wonderful life, which I miss that dog. He was my baby. Like, I loved that dog. But Stefano would not get rid of Samson. He just wouldn't do it. So we chose to um, rehome 
um, Gabriel, and uh, which uh, to this day makes me cry because I love that dog so much. Like he, he was my dog, you know. Anyway, um, so it was. The, but anyway, when we moved up here, I had moved in with one of my sisters, and at the time I had Lexi, Samson, Delilah. Sassy. I had this guy, which was a calico cat. I had Snowflake, and we had Stormy. So we had all. The, my sister didn't mind the cats, but she's like, "Well, five dogs, you know." We didn't plan on staying with my sister that long because we had to find a place right away. And so my sister's like, "Well, is it, isn't there one that you could like just get rid of?" Now, mind you, I rescued, I rescued Lexi. She was actually thrown over the fence at the SPCA. She was thrown in the middle of January, cold. It was so cold, and I didn't get her until March. Um, so, anyway, and then Stefano got me sassy, and my girlfriend, um, my girlfriend Sherry had Delilah and she had Samson, they were brother and sister. And so we got them. So we had all of them. So there was actually four dogs. So four dogs, four dogs, three cats. So, but the thing is, you know, so when somebody asks you, oh, well just get, you know, just get rid of some of them. Who do I get rid of? If I had kids, would I pick the, the baddest kid to get rid of? Or the sweetest kid to get rid of? What kid would I get rid of? You know? And some people are like, oh, they're just dogs. They're just dogs. No, I made a commitment. When I rescued, when I rescued, um, when I rescued Lexi, I made a commitment to keep her until her dying day. I was her final home. Like, nobody else. They told me she was only going to live a year. That dog lived seven extra years. Seven. So, you know. So what What dog would I have picked? You know, what one would have made them happy, you know, for me to get rid of? Like, I don't understand that. So, anyway, that was a big fiasco. Um, that's how moving up here started. But, you know what I mean? Like, even if my family says things like that to me, do you think a stranger saying something like that to me is going to get to me? It doesn't get to me. It just makes me mad. It just makes me think to myself, why are you the one to tell me how to live my life and what to do with my home? We own this home outright. We own it. It's ours. We own it. You know, we don't, we pay rent on the land, not on our home. We pay taxes on our home, but we don't pay you know, we, we only pay for the land here. So it just, it just irks me. It just gets under my skin, especially since, you know, I just lost Delilah. Like, you know what I mean? I just, I just, we just put her in the ground. You know? We just buried her. And then somebody's saying that, you know, like, it just like, I don't understand. You know, I don't understand people who, I wanted to get these dishes. I wanted to get the dishes done because actually the dogs have to get a bath tonight. I want to make sure that they do get their bath tonight. And I just have one pot to do and that's about it. I don't mean to be ranting and raving. I'm not like ranting and raving and you know, it just actually, hold on. It actually just upset me. Hey Google, turn on the mantle lights. So I've been, I've actually had to use my green machine today in the living room. I used the green machine in the living room. I cleared off my mantle. That's all cleaned up. I have some china dishes that I'm actually going to put in this cabinet here. Right now it's just filled with some knickknacks that I have. So um, I'm going to actually get rid of them. You all know the drill here is Halle Berry because she knows I'm talking. So yeah, I had made some blueberry cheesecake ice cream, which I think I'll show you guys how I make it because it's this, it's so simple and easy to make. 
um, Buffy made at home. Oh my God, her tail. She whips me so hard with it. Hello. I think I had this shirt on the other day. It's my favorite shirt. So, yeah. So, I did my rug today uh, with my green machine. And now, tomorrow, I have the chairs all pulled out. And I vacuumed really good around the dining room table. So, tomorrow, that rug will get done. Because I have to do the whole entire rug, you know. So, and then they're just like throw rugs. But still, I like to keep them. I usually do them once a month. Um, but with Delilah, I was doing them every other week. I don't know what's on me. Something, it feels like wax. I clean out my wax melt thing and I put new wax melt in. Oh, <gasps> that was her head. Oh my goodness, you're crazy. So, yeah. Oh my God, stop. Can you stop? Stop it. Stop it. <gasps> stop it. So, I'm just going to, it's Friday, so I am going to go and put this up a little bit later um, for you guys to watch. It's just a vlog, so it'll be a vlog for a couple a couple weeks. Um, I'm going to vlog when my kids are here. Hopefully, my son will let me film him. He might not. <laughs> so, but yeah, so and that's tank talking. Oh, I don't know guys I don't I'm sorry if I offended anybody with what I said about the animals but that's how I feel this is my house that's how I feel um some days you can't even tell that there's a cat in this house you cannot tell um you can't even see them because they all have their own little spots I have kennels I have beds we have boxes they like to go in different places they have chairs one, I think there's only one cat that goes in a cabinet and sleeps in a cabinet. Um, some cats sleep in the bedroom. Stefano made a shelf um, in the doorway in the um, laundry room because that's a, a glass door in there. You can see it outside. So Stefano made a shelf there. So you'll see cats sleeping on that, looking out the window to the birds and stuff. So you know who gets under my feet the most? The dogs the dogs they're trying to kill me they really are they're always under my feet or standing right behind me and I don't I don't notice it because they're right behind me um because I know like when Sassy and Samson were here they would get up and follow me but they would go lay like on the bed or they would go lay on uh, you know somewhere not under my feet but they would lay somewhere near me like in the like Sam used to lay at the bedroom door in the hall and that's where he used to lay so you know I don't know. I just, I just, I hate when people judge other people. Like, I don't judge anybody's house. I don't judge what you do with your house. I don't judge how you live your life. It's your life. Whatever makes you happy, makes you happy. Like, if I have, if I have 40 cats, that'll make me happy. Because I'm making those 40 cats' lives better. You know, they're living a better life. They're not living outside. You know, I mean, I don't understand why somebody would have to write to me that they're taking over my house. Of course they are. And your children, when you have children, they take over your house. My husband takes over my house. I have his tools here, his computer pieces here. I have, I, he, I showed you what he does with his clothes. He, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, you know, he works hard. He doesn't have time. He doesn't even think about it when he does it. It's just a reaction. He takes off his work shirts. He takes off his socks. He puts them somewhere. He puts his work shirt somewhere else. So it's always like me hunting for his clothes. And it's been a joke for over a decade now. So, you know, it's nothing new. It's not like, oh, he just started doing that. No, he's been doing it since we've been together. So, you know, I mean people take over your lives your children take over your lives your spouses take over your lives your partners take over your lives like everybody in your life will take over so yes these cats have taken over but they haven't taken over so much that I can't handle it and I told you the other day in my vlog the only way I would ever get rid of any of these animals is if my health deteriorated so much I could not take care of them and then that wouldn't be fair to them if I can't take care of them if I can't clean their litter box feed them give them baths keep them combed and brushed because I brush and comb all these cats they all get flea treatments once a month 
they all of them even the dogs and right now we have a huge tick problem so you know taking the dogs out makes me nervous i ha i look over them all the time like tonight is bath night for the dogs and that's going to take me two good two three hours because i wash them i groom them i blow them dry and you know and then i groom them again so you know like but that's that's what I knew I was going to do when I got these type of dogs. They're not the type of dogs you could just like leave and only wash once a year. They need to get a bath every single, every week almost now. So, and they also both need to go to the groomers. So, you know, anyway, I've talked a really, really long time. I apologize. So if you stay to the end, please let me know. Thank you everybody that let me know that you stayed to the end in the last video. And this one is going to be a long one. So just get some iced tea and enjoy the ride. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Like I always say, somehow, some way, I'll have an amazing day. You make your day amazing, and together, friends, we'll have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.